Welcome to HACCP Training by IQ Kitchen. HACCP stands for Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point. HACCP is an internationally recognized preventative system for assuring food safety. The most basic concept underlying HACCP is that of prevention. A hazard analysis is a science-based and systematic process to identify possible dangers to health. A critical control point is a point, step, or procedure at which control can be applied and a food safety hazard can be prevented, eliminated, or reduced to acceptable levels. HACCP is designed for use in the entire food industry, from growing, processing, manufacturing, distributing, and retailing food for consumption. HACCP is important in order to prevent foodborne illness, but also to reduce recalls and help companies save money. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that 48 million people get sick due to one or another of 31 pathogens. About 128,000 people end up in the hospital, while 3,000 die annually. Between 1998 and 2008, 7,757 foodborne disease outbreaks were tracked. Poultry accounts for 19% of deaths due to foodborne illness related to listeria and salmonella. A 2014 estimate from the Department of Agriculture placed the direct and indirect costs associated with illnesses caused by major foodborne pathogens at $15.6 billion per year. In 2012, the Grocery Manufacturers Association, GMA, and the Food Marketing Institute estimated that the average cost for a food recall in the United States was $10 million. Presently, the FDA gets involved in about 700 food-related recalls per year. HACCP was developed in the late 1950s by the Pillsbury Company, the Natick Research Laboratories, and NASA. They built a quality system to ensure food safety for the space program. In 1974, FDA incorporated HACCP in the regulations due to outbreaks of Clostridium botulinum in canned food. In 1993, the Codex Alimentarius Commission provided the first international definition for HACCP. And in 2000, ISO 22000 was developed with major contributions to food safety management systems. HACCP has become a global standard for food safety. A HACCP system requires that potential hazards are identified and controlled at specific points in the process. This includes biological, chemical, or physical hazards. Any company can use HACCP to minimize or eliminate food safety hazards in their product. HACCP is based on seven principles. Principle 1. Conduct a hazard analysis. The application of this principle involves listing the steps in the process and identifying where significant hazards are likely to occur. Principle 2. Identify the critical control points. A critical control point, CCP, is a point, step, or procedure at which control can be applied and a food safety hazard can be prevented, eliminated, or reduced to acceptable levels. Principle 3. Establish critical limits. A critical limit, CL, is the maximum and or minimum value to which a biological, chemical, or physical parameter must be controlled at a CCP to prevent, eliminate, or reduce to an acceptable level the occurrence of a food safety hazard. Principle 4. Monitor CCP. The HACCP team will describe monitoring procedures for the measurement of the critical limit at each critical control point. Principle 5. Establish corrective action. Corrective actions are the procedures that are followed when a deviation in a critical limit occurs. Also, an investigation must be conducted to determine what caused the deviation and how to prevent recurrence. Principle 6. Verification. Those activities other than monitoring that determine the validity of the HACCP plan and that the system is operating according to the plan. Principle 7. Documentation. A key component of the HACCP plan is recording information that can be used to prove that the food was produced safely. The HACCP system must be built upon a solid foundation of prerequisite programs such as good manufacturing practices, GMPs, and standard operating procedures. They provide the basic environmental and operating conditions that are necessary for the production of safe, wholesome food. 
These are some examples for GMPs and SOPs. All prerequisite programs should be documented and regularly audited. The development of a HACCP plan is a logical step-by-step -step process. The five preliminary tasks need to be accomplished before the application of the HACCP principles to a specific product and the process are. 1. Assemble the HACCP team. Individuals from areas such as engineering, production, sanitation, quality assurance, and food microbiology who have a working knowledge of the various processing steps and operations in the facility who will be responsible for the HACCP plan. 2. Identify products, foods, processes that must be covered by the HACCP plan. Next, the HACCP team should write a categorization of the types of potentially hazardous foods that are covered. 3. Develop a list of ingredients, materials, equipment, and recipes formulations. Review everything that shows methods and control measures that address the food safety concerns involved. 4. Develop a process flow diagram. The HACCP team will draw a flow diagram that shows all the steps in the production process from receiving through shipping. 5. Verify the process flow diagram. The HACCP team can do this by having an impartial person do a walkthrough of the entire production process, checking to see if there is anything missing from the diagram.